So I'm going to do something a little bit weird this morning. But if you know me, then um, I'm kind of a weird guy. I, I used to do this for a living, and I, I uh, came off the road at a, at a few years ago when, um, when I felt like God was calling us, uh, first of all, for me to be home a little bit more and not be gone 190 days a year to make a living and try to be more of a, a better husband and a better father to my family. And then um, in the middle of that, uh, God started saying, hey, I think um, you need to help start this new church in League City. And so that's, that's really uh, kind of, that kind of was the final time of saying, all right, God, um, I need to put that part of me away. And then what I did was for s- several years, I've, I've done this once before, but for several years in the middle, I just said, there's a pastor and there's a singer, artist, songwriter, and those two should be, you know, I'm, I'm going to put away one so I can be the other. And, and really recently, God's been kind of saying, um, who said that you have to compartmentalize stuff like that? That's, that's a dumb idea. And I have a lot of dumb ideas. So, uh, so I was thankful that God uh, showed me one of them. So um, this, this morning, um, we're going to be, I'm going to take us through um, basically Luke chapter 15. Will you put Luke chapter 15 up there? Do we have that? And... I'm going to be taking us some places where I have been. These are kind of snapshots in my life of different, uh, different moments, but also these are moments that, that I think we see a lot of these moments in the, the story of the prodigal son. So, um, so that's where we're, we're going to really look uh, here in Luke chapter 15. I want to invite you guys, if you would, to read this uh, story with me, and then I'm going to sing some songs along, along the, the path of this story. So would you guys read this with me? Jesus continued, There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired men have food to spare, and here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fatted calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Will you guys pray with me? God, thanks so much for this day. And I thank you for these friends. And I thank you for the gift of song. God, I pray that uh, that as uh, we spend this time together, that this word that you have given to us so many years ago would would still be living and active for us. That it would remind us of places that we have been and maybe call us to places that we have yet to go. God, you are an awesome God, and we're thankful for who you are. I pray that you would either speak through these songs in this time or that you would set me aside and that you would speak in spite of me. Um, Either way, God, we're here to to listen to you. In Jesus' name, amen. So don't you imagine that there was a time when this younger son, you know, I mean, this this son goes off and he takes all of his dad's stuff and he goes and he squanders it on loose living. And as he does that... um, you know, it says that there becomes a famine in the land, and now he's, he's completely 
Um, he's got nothing. And there was a moment when he was so hungry that he decided to be a pig farmer. Now, I'm not all that smart, but I do know that in that day, um, that would have been one of the most humiliating jobs that a, a Jewish farmland farmland owner's son could have taken um, because pigs were not kosher animals. And I, I have to imagine that this kid was as low as he was ever going to go. And as he got as low as he was going to go, and as he's as he's feeding these pigs, and, and, he, and the, the pig slop begins to look good to eat to him, that there has to be a moment when he, he may have asked himself, is this, is this who I want to be? So, This is your life. Are you who you want to be? This is your life. Are you who you want to be? This is your life. Is it everything you dreamed that it would be? The world was younger. You had everything to lose. You had everything to lose. Born into a definite maybe world With a peace sign on one hand And a thousand questions on the other I kept her raising her hand She had to drive to understand So they turned up the volume Just to keep her from thinking and So she flipped through all the channels She sought advice from all the panels She tried recreation, meditation, and medication In the places in her heart she didn't talk about Liked by many, but known by none. She was known by none. But maybe you'll find the lost coin in the cushions of a love seat or sofa or a couch of some kind. And maybe you'll find the lost sheep at the corner of Second and Main. Maybe that prodigal daughter will come home. You run out to meet her just like you did me. Maybe, Jesus, maybe, maybe there's no maybe about it. Yeah. So she rolled out of bed, tired of standing on her head, trying to fit in with the right sign up world. She couldn't run far or fast enough Well, every footstep it was sketching up To what she didn't know Knew enough to know she didn't know it She had tried every God and every spirit To fill the void but couldn't hear it Cause God was for the weak To help them feel good about themselves In the place in her heart she didn't talk about She was liked by many but known by none She was known by none. Maybe you'll find the lost coin in the cushions of a love seat or so far a couch of some kind. And maybe you'll find the lost sheep at the corner of second and main. Maybe that prodigal daughter will come home and you'll run out to meet her just like you did me. Maybe Jesus. Maybe, maybe there's no maybe about it, yeah. One day she'll reach her ropes in. Won't have the strength to pull herself up again. Maybe she'll hold on to the rope and let God pull her out of that place. But then she'll be known by one. So maybe you'll find the lost coin, 
Questions of the love scene are so parked out to some kind of yeah. Maybe you'll find the lost sheep at the corner of second and maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. maybe that prodigal daughter will come home and you'll run out to meet her just like you did me. Maybe Jesus, maybe, maybe there's no maybe about. I wrote that song thinking about all the loose change that got lost in my co in my couch. So then there was this moment when this kid who's off, you know, he's wandered away and he's he's wondering if this is really who he wants to be. There's this great um, this great little phrase in verse I think it's verse 17 of that same chapter. It says, "When he came to his senses." You know, and some translations say when he came to himself, when he remembered who he was, when he remembered whose he was, um, he determined that he was going to go home. And I don't know if he was sorry or if he was just hungry. But whatever the reason was, he went home and he offered himself back to his dad. God now and I know that I am not I have loved in this empty world far too long now if you'll take this broken me I surrender once again Falls to the ground Cause I can see you standing there and My fears I bring them here Cause where else would I go I've seen this damage before My heart on the floor My life is broken Come on in My wounds I bring to you, cause where else will I go? And I know that you're God now. And I know This empty world far too long now. If you'll take this broken me and surrender once again, and I know that you got now. And I know. I know I am not I have loved this empty world Far too long now If you'll take 
this broken me I surrender once again if you'll take this broken me I surrender once again will you take this broken me So, um, so then, so, so this kid decides to come home, and again, I'm, I'm not sure if he's hungry or if he's sa- sorry, but he certainly comes home, and he's got a rehearsed speech, and he says it to his dad, and, uh, and, and, and the cool thing about his dad was his dad didn't even wait for him to get home. His dad ran out to meet him. If you heard that part of the story, you know, he, he, uh, he runs out to meet him. He, he hikes up his, you know, long robe that a man of his uh, day would have been wearing, and he doesn't care how foolish he looks. He runs out to meet his kid. And as soon as he sees him and his son starts to, you know, blabber out this uh, apology, his dad just hugs him. And he says, hey, I, stop. <laughs> you know, here's, here's the ring. This is the ring. This is our family ring. And here's the robe that I want you to have. And they put new shoes on his feet, and then they threw a huge party for him. And I don't know, again, I don't know um, exactly what he would have felt in that moment, but I suspect that. Uh, is is pretty is pretty thankful time. I suspect he was thankful to be home. I was think uh, I suspect he was thankful to be received by his dad. I I, th- I suspect that he's uh, he was thankful that um, you know God is the beginning and God is the end, and he was just thankful to be living in the in between. to play again The first time I smiled on the inside since I don't know when The big bold orange promise reminded me The best things in this life I really come for free For the next breath if I get it And the one that I just had For the day she said she'd have me how she looks when she gets mad Or the flower that falls in winter Just to come back in the spring Lord, you are the first, you are the last Thanks for the in-between I asked a thousand times to see your face but each time you got too close, I turned away. I pray that if I saw you, you would change me. Now I want to lose it myself, live thankfully for the grace that comes with aging and the growth that comes from pain. For a thousand friendly strangers, and I've forgotten all of the names for the times you didn't give up. And the residue of love leaves. Lord, you are the first, you are the last. Thanks for the in between. Whoa. Thanks for the in between. Whoa. Thanks for the in between. Whoa. Thanks for the in between. For the tears that come with laughter At that joke at 2 a.m. Where friends where miles don't matter And all the times that you've entered in For the mountains that I have walked on And the ones that I've never seen When you are the first, you are the last Thanks for the in-between Whoa. Thanks for the in-between Whoa. Thanks for the in between. Whoa. Thanks for the in between. You don't have to feel the obligatory clap thing. That's okay. You don't have to do that. Hey, um, 
So, so, so now he's home and he's thankful and all those things. But here's the deal. If there's anything that I have learned in my 41-ish years of living, um, is, it is that that is not the end of the story. I mean, that's kind of where the story ends. Um, Jesus, you know, he, you know the, he's welcomed home and everything's happy, except for the older brother. That's a whole other sermon. But, but the thing that I've learned is, is that just because we come home doesn't mean we always stay home. And it doesn't mean, of course, that only good things happen to us either, by the way. That's, um, there, are some, there is kind of a, a component of Christianity that says, you know, you, know, you know, God only will allow good things to happen to us. And, um, and you know, we kind of name it and we claim it and all this kind of stuff that I don't think is true. It's not scriptural. And the reality is that bad things do happen and struggles do happen. And we are still broken even though God sees us as righteous and holy, and even though we spend the rest of our lives trying to become what God sees us to be, we still have some brokenness in our lives. And so I'm just going to do, um, I'm going to do one more here. Um, and it's, it's really um, trying to, it's really on the theme of hope. Uh, we're going to start a whole new s- uh, sermon series next week on the theme of hope. And uh, it, it's because I think we need it in our world today. I think, uh, you know, all you have to do is, you know, turn on the news, um, you know, watch a, uh, a political campaign or two, a couple of commercials, uh, you know, you just look around, you see that we need, um, we need God and we need hope in our lives and in our world. So this song came, came out of some brokenness for me, but it also, um, it just reminds me uh, every time I sing it or every time I stumble upon it on my, my eye, uh, my eye, whatever, that, uh, that God can be trusted and that God is not finished with us yet. You may think that I am broken, but I I am. You may think that I am beaten, I am but I'll rise again yes I'll rise again God's not done yet may think that I am finished I'm not You may think that I'm defeated But I'm not No, I'm not Because I'll rise Yes, I'll rise again. God's not done yet. I wonder if anybody here this morning needs to hear this. You may think that this is over, but it's not. You may think that this is pointless, but it's not. No, it's not. Because I'll rise again. I'll rise again. God's not done.
song until you come for me. And I will dance this dance, and I'll be undignified, and I'll still speak when I'm scared. I love hard all of my life. I won't back down and I won't shut up. I keep pushing on until I drop. I will not tire and I will not stop. I won't be moved and I can't be bought until I rise again. Yes, I'll rise again. You know I. Again, as God's not done yet. God's not done yet. You guys pray with me. God, those are just snapshots of where I've been, but I suspect that there's other people that are somewhere along that same journey. Maybe we're far from home and just looking for a way to get home. Maybe we're not even sorry, but we're hungry. Maybe we're sorry. Maybe we're ready to run home. Or, or maybe, God, we've, we've just come home, and we're so thankful that you have allowed us to come home. And not just that you allowed us in, but that you ran to meet us because you never gave up on us. And we're just thankful. God, maybe... We're in a place where we have come home and we've seen the joy that goes with that, but we also still see who we are and we still see that we're broken and that things are happening to us that we can't understand or that we don't like or we're doing things that we don't like. And God, in that moment, I pray that you would remind us that you're not finished with us yet, that we don't have to be perfect to come home to you. We're all sinners in need of a hospital. We're all beggars who found a crumb of bread and wanting to share that with other people. God, we're, we're thankful for who you are and what you've done. God, I pray that, um, that each of these snapshots would be something that you would remind us of, that you would call us towards, that you would call us up, that you would continue working on us, that you would remind us to just keep walking because you're not done. You are an awesome and an amazing God. There are no words that we have. There are no songs that we could sing that would do you justice. And what we offer is they're cheap imitations compared to who you are. You, you are amazing. And we thank you for all that you have done and all that you are doing. And we offer ourselves to you in worship this morning. In Jesus' name, amen.